just talk a little about being able to be here in Frisco, Texas, um, for to play in a national championship and you only being a second year head coach at Jacksonville State. Uh, what a blessing it is. Uh, it's been a great ride. Uh, you know, the journey getting here is, uh, you know, the, the the biggest, you know, pleasure that you could have. Just around a bunch of great people uh, that do their job, you know, from coaches to players to sports staff. It's been a fantastic year and just uh, glad to be playing, uh, you know, in this game and uh, with the opportunity to win a national championship. So we hope to bring it back to Jacksonville. Eli mentioned at Media Days that one of his biggest goals for the team was to win a national championship. What does that mean to be able to be this close, you know, to making that true? Well, definitely, uh, it means a lot. You know, we, we've uh, put a lot of work in to get to this point, and to, yeah, it's kind of satisfaction to, to have this opportunity. But, uh, you know, what a great opportunity we'll have. So it's, it is big, and I, I said before the season started, this is going to be a special group to watch play and that, that's held true. They, they are a, they're a great group. Uh, just do some great things off the field as well as on the field and like I said, it just, you almost don't want the ride to be over. Uh, that, that's a great thing about, you know, uh, team sports like football. I mean, you, you build such a camaraderie, you know, with how much time you spend together and that's the good thing about our bunch. They they love spending time off the field as well as on the field. They love going to practice and uh, they just enjoy, enjoy one another. So it, it's a little bit, uh, you know, get, can you get a little sentimental when you start talking about it being over? But we know it's, we know it's here. And we know it, when our last game is, and because you're playing in this game, you know there is an end all. So we're, we've enjoyed the last, you know, really two weeks, you know, practicing together and every minute that we got together. Because you know, once that's over, you can't get that back. And uh, but there's some special memories that that come from that. And uh, like I said, we're just making memories that's going to last a lifetime. Speaking of memories that'll last a lifetime, last night eating dinner at a Brazilian steakhouse seemed like all the guys loved it. Talk a little bit about that. They did. A lot of guys had never been to a Brazilian restaurant, and uh, that was a, a treat to be able to, to see them enjoy that and you know sit there and eat. And uh, like I said, they I think we got our money's worth. <laughs> it was it was great. Those uh, those linemen they put put away some food, and even guys like you know JB, even like Bars, you know he. he, he he held his own with those guys and sat in there with one of the last ones to leave. But uh, it was really a special time for our team to get to do something like that together. Talk of most of the guys have mentioned being together for two weeks straight and not not even really a time apart, but especially without school. Has that helped them any more than what? Oh, I think it has. It, it's really been good because, you know, you, you when school's going on, you got your classes and your tutoring and all that stuff, and they get kind of taxed out, you know, uh, kind of like, you know, during the playoffs when we had, you know, finals week and a game and just coming off another game and, you know, coming off of Thanksgiving, there, there's a lot going on. You almost get so mentally exhausted that it affects you physically. So, you know, but not having the class structure and just having, you know, some time to rest and, and get away from uh, you know everything uh, is has been great for us, and uh, it's kind of like an NFL player where that's, that's your job. So I mean, the last two weeks has been really really good for us. Talk about this week as a whole, being able to experience something that's kind of relaxed, but you're still focused on football and kind of have a lot of. And even even later on tonight, we'll be joining North Dakota State, um, doing a little team bonding as well. It is. I mean, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're trying to enjoy that stuff, but stay very focused. And uh, we're here for a purpose. It's a business trip, and uh, we'll have a little fun. But um, we're not getting too. Our mind's too far away from, you know, Saturday and, and our task at hand, which is winning the game. And uh, like I said, we want to do the the stuff that we got going on tonight. And then Friday we'll get kind of locked in. We got the banquet, but which will be a nice affair. But uh, you know, I you know like to say you know thanks to you know Frisco and uh, the FCS and the NCA they putting on a great event here. Talk about having a huge number of fan base coming from Jacksonville to drive 14 hours um, and just, just, just watch play. Oh, it's great. I mean, you got some folks coming, a lot of folks coming that hadn't even got a ticket to the game. So I think if this place set double, if it, you had 40,000 tickets, I think we'd sell, you know, we'd sell it out. You know, we've got so many folks wanting to come to this game. So uh, tickets are at a, at, a, at a premium for sure. But, uh, you know, everybody come on and just drive out and come watch the game. I know we got a lot of folks that are just Frisco bound and coming. Talk a little bit about just being here to be able to play in Frisco, Texas for the national championship. You know, uh, great opportunity. You know, we uh, you know, we worked hard to, you know, get to this point. You know, it was, it's a blessing to be here. You know, with these guys, with these 30 seniors. You know, I, 
you know, I wish I could start the whole season over and, and play it again one, one more time with uh, these seniors. There will never be another team like the 2015, 2016, you know, Jacksonville State game called football team. You mentioned before the season even started back with OVC Media Days that your one goal was to win the national championship. How does that feel to finally be able to say we're that close to be able to mark that off? Oh, yeah, great. You know, it feels real great. That's, that, that's been our goal the whole time. You know, every time we uh, win a mean, we used to we break it down on national champions. You know, we, you know, we always thought we'd be at this point, and now we now we're finally here. You know, it's a blessing. And just to say that, like, like we're this close. You know, we're a couple of days away. We're a couple of hours away. You know, it's that's a great feeling. What was your first thought of the stadium when you actually got to see it for team pictures today? Oh yeah, the first thought I was like, man, it's gonna this gonna be a good game. It's gonna be a good environment. You know, it's a pretty pretty decent stadium. You know, it's. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun playing on that uh, that grass out there. Let's talk about the camaraderie you're kind of getting to build with even more with the team here at the uh, you know leading up to the national championship. Ate at a Brazilian steakhouse last yeah. night and it was just it was phenomenal. Yeah. Talk a little bit about you being able to experience that for the first time and just a little bit more about it. Yeah, the uh, steakhouse was you know it was great. You know it was unlimited meat. You know unlimited salad here and there. Uh, soup and all that bread and it was it was crazy just to you know be with those guys and just to see those guys picking out you know tape trying new things you know stuff that we um we never thought about eating you know it was you know it was it was real fun just to um just to be there with those guys and i mean that was some that was some pretty good food and just to just to spend more time with uh with the team just in the hotel and just playing in the uh the game room, you know, it's it's a blessing. Now I noticed you and Christian were kind of going at it eating um, last night, but with all that food that you both consumed, probably gained more than ten pounds each. Yeah. Who's still the fastest? Uh, I'm still the fastest. Uh, I probably would be the fastest for the rest of our lives. You know, if we race when when we get like fifty something, I'll probably still be faster than him. Yeah. So, I mean, the food, you know, it, it probably wore off by now. So if you want to race, you know. He'll still give, he'll give me a run for my money though. You know he's he he do got a little speed on him, but I'll still beat him. All right, Dawson. Um, let's talk a little about being able to be here on your senior year to play for the national championship. Uh, it's been great. You know that's what we've been working for since January in the summer. You know a uh, whole off season we've been working for this, and uh, I feel like we deserved it after this, you know this good season we had. No stranger to having big games on the defensive side of the ball. Um, this year for yourself. Um, talk a little about what you expect to see out of yourself and the defense coming into Saturday's game. Uh, I, I feel like as a whole, if we, if we make them one-dimensionally, you know, make them uh, get off their power run game and uh, start making them pass the ball, I think we'll be fine. You know, we got really good DBs, really good D-line. So I think if we make them one-dimensional, and I, I feel like that's what we're going to do, and cause that's what, we, what we've been focused on is, uh, you know, these past, past two weeks. So if we do that, we'll be fine. Talk a little about being able to relax a little bit, but still focus on football this week, um, kind of in a more relaxed setting and kind of a little bit more free because you don't have classes or anything like that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, these past two weeks, I mean, we got to go home, you know, for Christmas for a couple of days, and uh, then we came back, and all we've been focused on is North Dakota. But, I mean, we've also uh, we've also had some team time, you know. we uh, Coaches took us bowling and done a few things, and we, we went out to eat last night. and uh, So, I mean, we, we've definitely had some team bonding. We've been, we've been with each other for two weeks with – with no school, we know no wait time from each other. But uh, I mean, it's been great. I mean, it's the last time we'll, we'll be at, with this group as a whole. You mentioned eating last night. What was your take on um, being able to eat at Brazilian Steakhouse? It was great. Uh, I, I feel like everybody loved it. I mean, they had a little bit of everything, and uh, I mean, it was a bunch of bunch of food. You know, you, you couldn't leave there empty. And uh, I, I feel like it was also another good time for team bonding. I mean, we, we all sat there, joked around, and uh, it was a good time. What was your favorite? Um, meat that they brought by for you to try? Uh, I'd have to say it was the uh, chicken wrapped in bacon and then they had a the sirloin was also pretty good. Talk a little about being set up for a venue um, when you first saw the, the the stadium during team pitchers today what what kind of ran through your mind at that time? Uh, You know it's just a, another big stage you know uh, I feel like I, I mean I feel like we've been in a venue like this before you know uh, Michigan State and Auburn, and then uh, I mean our home, we we got an awesome home, you know, home field. Our fans are awesome at home, so 
I mean, it's really nothing new, but I mean, it's great. It's great to see uh, this venue is really nice, and uh, so I mean, it's definitely going to bring a different atmosphere to us. Was it any surprise to see how quickly our side of the tickets kind of sold out for Jacksonville State? Uh, not really. We, uh, you know, the whole playoffs, whole season, everybody's. All I've heard was people ready for us. You know, to go to the national championship, people were expecting it. We were expecting it, and. Uh, so, I mean, it, it, and when I went out, I, I went and got some tickets the next day, and the ticket line, you know, it was about 300 people. And, uh, so, I mean, I, I, I was expecting it, and uh, I'm just glad we have fans like we have. What does it mean to be able to have a fan base that will support you, you know, 14-hour drive on a car? You know, what, what does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it means everything to us. That, that's what we like. We like playing in front of just our fans. You know, we, we don't care if, who, if the way team brings their fans. We want to play in front of our fans and show them how we play and uh, make them proud. Just talk a little bit about being able to be um, in Frisco for the uh, national championship and, and kind of the preparation um, coming in today. Uh, it's a great opportunity to be here. You know, it's a blessing. You know, it's a, a start of a great dynasty, I think. And um, the preparation stays the same. You know, we want to stay focused on what we've been doing throughout the season, same practices and everything. But overall, preparation stays the same. Let's talk about where we kind of ate at last night. Um, a different style, kind of see all you guys kind of cheering for the meat at a Brazilian steakhouse um, where they just kind of bring all the meat around. Just talk a little bit about to last night. Yeah, that was good. That was great, man. All you can eat meat. I had some meat I ain't never had before. I don't even know what I was eating at sometimes, but it was good. You know, Coach Coach did that with, with bringing us there and just the camaraderie of everybody having fun and eating good and everything. And the best part about it was, you know, you flip it over to be green, they keep bringing meat, or flip it over red, you don't want no more meat. You mentioned the camaraderie. Um, talk a little about what the next few days kind of kind of exist because it's nothing but about a lot of team bonding and a lot of team time um, versus kind of what you would probably get other than just practice every day um, at home. Talk a little bit about that. Uh, that's good, you know, to get out the practice field and bond with the team. You know, we do a lot of bonding with the team. Even even back in Jacksonville, you know, so it's nothing new. You know, this is this the most camaraderie we had as a team. You know, just the bond that I got with my brothers is I've never felt the way I feel about this team. So it's been good. Let's talk a little about just being here for the national championship in Frisco, Texas. It's a great feeling. We we're finally in a new environment, you know, and it's just the national championship. <laughs> you know, I don't think there's another wonderful feeling that I can have besides being here with my teammates playing the national championship. Let's talk a little about the camaraderie. Um, you guys are kind of getting started off last night with being able to eat at a Brazilian steakhouse, something that most of the team's never done before, and constantly cheering for new meat as they bring it around the table. Awesome. You know, I'm like 290 plus, so me and all the offensive line, defensive line, you know, we're just meat, 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 you know. The um, chicken, the bacon route, it was, it was awesome. Just for big guys like us, just for someone to bring you constantly meet like that, it's just a great feeling. And I mean, it's just a great feeling period, you know, when you get to do all these different things that we don't get to use to do, you know, have fun and play football. Talk a little bit more about that to where it's not just football school, especially right now with classes just starting yesterday. Um, you kind of get to relax a little bit, have a little free time. Um, even though it's still football oriented, you still got to kind of relax. I mean, it's, it's just a better opportunity, you know. Now we get to focus more on football, football and fun, you know. Having fun, okay, it's okay, but football, you know, football, football, football. And that's, that's the most important thing to us. What stands out to you um, coming into the game for Saturday? It's just the bond that our guys have, you know. Some of us graduated, we have a lot of seniors. And it's just the brotherhood that we have here, you know. And I know that our offensive line is going to dominate, defense line is going to dominate. The offense is going to dominate. The defense is going to dominate. And it's just a great feeling. We know everyone can play together. You know, sometimes it may take a step back or two. You know, might get into a little argument or whatnot. But at the end, it's probably something that we needed as a team. And it's just, it's just a great feeling with these guys. Came in this morning to do team pictures. Um, talk a little about what you thought about the stadium when you first saw it. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a great stadium. It's a great stadium. I mean, the field is right there in the center. Everyone surrounding you, thousands of fans. It's, it's just a wonderful view. Let's talk a little bit about the experience all together, starting with last night being able to come to Frisco and play for the national championship. Uh, it's very mesmerizing, you know. Um, Toyota Stadium, uh, set on a big stage, huge stage, matter of fact. The yeah, FCS national championship uh, is going to be something you're going to be remembering for the rest of your life. And uh, 
I'm happy we uh, made it here safely. It was a long ride, uh, Dallas traffic. I don't like you, but um, it was, it was pretty, it's, it's fun. It's going to be fun. Now, after the Dallas traffic getting through it, we stopped and ate at a Brazilian steakhouse. Talk a little bit about that. I know all the guys loved it. Oh, yeah, man, they had all types of meat. They had, they had lamb, they had, shoot, all types of the cow. They had chicken bacon. They had, um, shoot, they had all types of meat. And they just bring it out on, on these long things, and you just grab it with these uh, tweezers and just pick out your own meat. And you got this card, and it's uh, green. And it means keep coming with meat, and then the red means stop bringing me meat. So, I mean, everybody's was on green. I mean, I don't think they could keep up with us for the longest, but we left out of there pretty stuffed, you know. What was your favorite? Um, I'm a filet mignon type guy, and the chicken bacon was pretty good too. And then they had uh, a spicy meat. I know how to say it in Spanish, not in English. I forgot. It's called the parrilla, and uh, it was really good. It was, it was, it was spicy. And, uh, Shoot, it was just really, it was a good experience. We have one of those back in Tampa. It's called Boys House Steakhouse. And um, I liked it a lot, put it that way. Let's talk a little bit about the camaraderie you're able to get um, being away from classes since classes started Wednesday. Um, kind of relax a little bit, but still be focused on football. Sure, well, I graduated, uh, you know, this past um, fall. So, I mean, classes aren't really a deal for me, but, uh, you know, setting in this new stage for me, you know, uh, being able to play football and not worry about classes, it's actually pretty pretty cool, you know, to focus more on football, um, taking care of my body more, don't have to worry about school and all that type of stuff because, you know, it gets a little overwhelming trying to do class and football together, mashing it all up in one. And talk a little about the first time you saw the stadium when we came in to do uh, team pitchers this morning. Um, Talk a little about how that, what kind of feeling did you have when you saw it? I'm not gonna lie, it was cold outside, but I had an extra set of goosebumps come on. So I really was just thinking, dude, I'm gonna make a play in that end zone and in that end zone right there. And the whole time I'm just thinking to myself making plays over here and then I could just see the rest of my teammates and they were all just taking Snapchats and videos of the stadium. Cause I mean, it's a really nice stadium. I mean, our stadium is really nice too, but this one's uh, the Toyota stadium. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about being able to be here in Frisco, Texas for the national championship. Uh, first, I want to give a credit to God because, you know, when none of this be possible without him, uh, it's, a, it's a blessing, man. You know, it's kind of, we're not finished yet, but it's kind of see, it's kind of good to see, like, where all your hard work go to, you know, nice scenery, just good to be out here with your team. Let's talk a little bit about the defense as a whole. Um, they played phenomenal throughout the year. What do you kind of expect for yourself and the defense coming into Saturday? The same result. I expect the same result, you know. It just, we we, we take pride in, in, in being the one to, to make a change in the game. We know that the offense is going to do what they're supposed to do, but we, we want to be the one that, that changes the game, you know. And I think this year we just, things have been coming together perfect for us, you know. So we just looking for this game to be the same way. We've seen the team click on all levels and, and kind of bond together all year long. But talk a little about being able to, to do a little bit more bonding on this trip, kind of a little bit more relaxed, but you're still focused on football. Uh, yeah, we're going to be a little bit more relaxed just because, you know, we don't, well, we haven't been in a national championship before, but we don't been in a game together. But also a little tense because this is the last time that we all gonna play, to, uh, play with each other. So, you know, I think we, we're taking it well so far. We just we ready for the game to come around. You know, so it's real big for us to play up to our part this game. With being a junior, does it kind of make next year coming to be able to come back to play next year kind of even more sweet because you're going to the national championship this year? Oh yeah, it's, it's always good when you know you have another chance around, but I just want to play my all for the seniors that's going out right now because it would mean the world to me for them to get this national championship. Let's talk a little about being here in Frisco, Texas. Uh, being in Frisco, Texas, we had been set a goal last year, springtime, after the season that we was going to set our goals high, and we set them high, and now we're here, now it's time to do what we got to do, and that's win this game. We've been practicing. Uh, their formation and stuff for like a week and a half straight, just constantly over and over. And, you know, I wouldn't say we're getting bored with practice, but we're ready to play play the game Saturday. 
Talk a little bit about um, dinner last night and kind of the bonding you were able to have, and it just so happened to include meat. Oh yeah, every um, team said, and we always find a way to bond with each other. It don't matter if somebody cracking jokes or what. We just have fun with our teammates because it's like we have a natural bond. It's it's just natural with us. We just go out and have fun wherever we go. Our coach, uh, he already knows we're going to goof around and stuff like that. When it's time to be uh, serious, we focus in. Talk a little about eating last night at the restaurant. and Most most of the guys have never tried it before. Um, you know, Just talk about that kind of experience. Oh, yeah, the Brazilian restaurant, it was, it was good to me. First time eating lamb. I think they bought some goat out there. I'm not sure. I was just tasting everything. <laughs> it, it was wonderful, though. I ain't going to lie. When you had, when you got your cards, you flip it over red when you're done eating, but mine stayed green the whole time. The chicken wrap with bacon, that was my favorite. It tastes pretty good. Talk about being able to play at this stage and only being a sophomore. Um, what does that kind of mean to you? Oh, yeah, playing on this stage as being a sophomore, it, it really let me know I came to a perfect program to fit me and my family. And I came around a great group of guys who mindset on the right thing at the right time. We were going out to get it. Talk about what your reaction was when you first saw the stadium this morning for team pitchers. Uh, I like the stadium. I feel like it's going to be packed out, and it's just time for our team to show, show out and show what we, do, we like to do.